The, uh, the treatments for uh, the three types of PE in general, uh, for the low risk PE, uh, probably the uh, recommended treatment would be on fractionated heparin or, or uh, regular anticoagulation by uh, Coumadin or a denure anticoagulation agents. Uh, for the intermediate risk is a little bit more unclear. And, uh, and that's where uh, having an acute PE team comes in really helpful because you can uh, discuss the patient and uh, uh, the PE team can uh, recommend you what would be the best approach to treat this particular patient. It could range from uh, unfractionated heparin to uh, catheter-directed thrombolysis to uh, um, probably those two would be the major ones. For the high-risk PE or the massive PE, the treatment uh, usually would be systemic thrombolysis. What we do here at UPMC uh, that is novel is that we have a UPMC uh, acute PE team. And uh, the, in this PE team, uh, we have a, a multidisciplinary approach to treating PE. Uh, the team is composed of pulmonary physicians, critical care physicians, uh, interventional cardiologists, uh, vascular surgeons, and cardiothoracic surgeons. The benefits and advantages of a team approach is that you have uh, multiple dif disciplines at your fingertip, and uh, all these players are going to come as they need to be involved in the case. Um, you don't have to uh, consult each of the different uh, physicians involved. Uh, once you consult the AQPE team, we can do that for you um, and get everyone involved as needed. Physicians need to know that uh, an acute PE can be potentially life-threatening. There are multiple different uh, treatment approaches to, um, to treating an uh, acute PE, um, and that a, an acute PE team is a, uh, a way that to, you can provide uh, multidisciplinary recommendations and treatment options uh, that can be beneficial for both patients and physicians.